We need to make sure that the European market is regulated and enforced uh, at a European scale. And that is what uh, the Digital Markets Act bring in. For the Digital Services Act, it has also opened up the way that the platforms are working with a reporting obligation to the European Commission and making sure that we have um, transparency and accountability of what the platforms are doing, sort of a responsibility by design rather than moving on from the GDPR's uh, privacy by design, while also protecting um, fundamental freedoms and, and rights. Um, because what the effect will be of the European legislation is that it will apply to everybody offering their services in, in Europe for the Digital Services Act. So even if you're based in Hong Kong or if you're based in Australia or in China, in the rest of China, then you will, um, you will be uh, asked to uh, apply this European legislation and also to have legal representation in, in the EU. So as a legislator in the European Union, it's been important for me to make sure that the legislation cannot be uh, misused both by companies and also by, by authorities so that we have a balanced approach in, in the way that they are being applied. Um, it's important to underline that these are horizontal um, pieces of legislation that apply to all uh, platforms and all forms of platforms. So both um, if you have short-term rental, if you are selling products, or if you are sharing uh, user-created content online, this legislation will be applied. The challenge really also is that we don't only have the Digital Markets Act and the Digital Services Act. We also have an AI Act that we're negotiating at the moment. We will have a Data Act uh, to be negotiated in the fall. So we have a lot of different pieces of digital legislation that will need to be enforced. And with the sort of patchwork nature of the way that the European Union is enforces legislation, it can become quite a, a challenge if it's up to uh, member states to, to enforce the European legislation. I think the oversight structure, which has the commission as a primary regulator for the very on large online platforms is a good starting point uh, to try and have a centralized body that will set out the, um, the standards and the enforcements, especially for the, the large platforms. We also have a couple of EU agencies that do work on digital, um, digital security. And then we also have the, um, the data uh, supervisor uh, that also uh, gives out advice and oversees the, the uh, General Data Protection Board. And one of the challenges uh, will be having resources enough to hire the, the people that are needed to uphold the enforcement. Um, we have already a, a fight for the, the competences, the, the people that know about um, regulation and also how the algorithms work. As was also mentioned by one of the panelists, it's an understanding of, of how things work is crucial in order to actually enforce the legislation. And I think that is going to be one of the, the biggest challenges is making sure that we can attract the necessary talent and also make sure that the, the decisions being made are enforced in similar ways across the European Union.